In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. This Mass is going to be offered for Sebastian, Andrew, Oregio, for Joe Weiner, and Brendan Hayes. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with the spiritual gifts, that he may give us a man to mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, my brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadduce Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, we find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts him. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia. Sent me, says the Lord. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, and they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that, they, that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that I am here. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate this Holy Mass, we meditate that the loving of unity of Christians is one of the most powerful witness to the truth of Christ's message. Like St. Paul, we are called to be courageous witness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And one of the most powerful ways we can do this is by our unity of believers by allowing Christ uh, to dwell in us, we can be made one with love he shared to the Father. Please stand. And as members of God's family, let us present our petitions. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen us in our effort to spread the good news. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the rulers of nations and people, may the spirit of peace guide their hearts and their actions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick needy, and lost everywhere. May God's love bring them healing and comfort, and may he, in his mercy, provide for their needs. We pray. For this community of believers, may the love of the Father and Son bring to us perfection as one. We pray for the souls of the faithful departed, especially Sebastian Andrew Oregio and Joe Wagner and Brendan Hayes, for whom this Mass is offered. 
May Christ soon bring them into the fullness of his glory. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen these petitions according to your holy will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, and of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. For of the earth, nor of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God for them. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. For of the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, in accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that what duty in our salvation at all times are claimed, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our dead, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the end of all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered well into his passion. He took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and giving his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In 
in a similar way when Sabu was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of our sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the very life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory Jan, our Archbishop, and the auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merely to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and our rejoice forever and ever. Amen. And now the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. On your stay, we told this because of the Oh. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us uh, through our participation in them, uh, that we may marry the gift of the Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.